Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In previous tutorial we have completed installation and setup. That is we have installed TensorFlow 2.0 GPU version and we have imported other libraries that is NumPy, Pandas and Matplotlib. In this tutorial we will do data pre-processing. Click on section. Step 2 Data Pre-Processing Great. Add one more cell. Now close this. First we have to import the data set. Importing data set. Here we will import the built-in data set. To do that, type from tensorflow dot keras dot datasets import fashion underscore mnist means it so this is the built-in dataset in tensorflow dot keras dot datasets now import this dataset that is we have to run this cell. Great. Let us understand more about this dataset. You will find this dataset on Kaggle.com also. This one, fashion, means it dataset. There are 70,000 images in this dataset, 28 by 28. That is, dimension of these images is 28 by 28. And these all are the labeled images. Scroll down, context, so there are 60,000 images in training set and 10,000 images in test set, you can see here, in training set 60,000 examples and in test set 10,000 examples, 28 by 28 grayscale images, so this is the dimension of each image, 28 by 28. And in this dataset, there are 10 classes. You can go through all the details here. Now scroll down. These are the 10 classes from 0 to 9. That is T-shirt or top, trouser, pullover, dress, coat, sandal, shirt, sneaker, bag and ankle boot. So these are the 10 classes in this dataset. Acknowledgements, license, and other details. In our example, we are using this dataset, Fashion Mincit dataset. Now go to Google Colab. This Fashion Mincit dataset is inside the TensorFlow.keras library. That is TensorFlow.keras.datasets. That is why we are not importing this dataset from outside. After importing the dataset, we have to load this dataset. Add one more cell here. Loading the dataset. Now check the dataset one more time. As we have discussed earlier, there are 60,000 images in training set and there are 10,000 images in test set. So in this dataset training and test set are already there. We don't have to do anything. Now we have to load this dataset as train and test set. Parentheses, comma parentheses. These are the two tuples. X underscore train, comma Y underscore train. Same here. x underscore test comma y underscore test is equal to type the name of this data set fashion underscore means it dot load underscore data so using this method load underscore data we are loading this data set now run this cell data set is successfully downloaded here 
so there are 60000 images in training set and there are 10000 images in the test set now add one more cell let us check the shape of this data set x underscore train dot shape run this cell so this is our output 60000 28 28 as we know that there are 60000 images in this data set and this is the dimension of each image 28 by 28 now check the shape of test set x underscore test dot shape execute so this is the shape of the test data set 10000 28 28 there are 10000 images in the test set and dimension is 28 cross 28 now check the same for y train and y test y underscore train dot shape comma y underscore test dot shape execute 60000 and 10000 So there are sixty thousand images in train set and ten thousand images in test set, but here we don't have any dimension, and this is because these are the only labels. Now add one more cell. Type x train. Execute. Great. At the corner there are all zeros. Everywhere. corner means corner of the image but there are other values also these are hidden inside and these hidden values are from 0 to 255 to check that delete this type np dot max and in parentheses x underscore train execute so this is the maximum value that is 255 let us check the minimum value np dot min x underscore train execute so we have maximum value is equal to 255 and minimum value is equal to 0 so range of these values is from 0 to 255 in similar way we can check the mean value also type np dot mean and in parentheses x underscore train 255 0 and 72.94 so these are the pixel values from 0 to 255 and mean of these values is 72.94 let us check the same for y train y underscore train execute nine zero zero and at the end three zero five. So here we have value range from zero to nine. Let us check maximum and minimum value np dot max y underscore train np dot min and in parentheses y underscore train execute so we have maximum value is equal to 9 and minimum value is equal to 0 so range of y train is from 0 to 9 that means there are 10 classes these 10 classes from 0 to 9 So we have pixels from zero to two fifty five and classes from zero to nine. Let us define a variable here. Class underscore names. We will define this variable as a list. We have to enter here all these classes from zero to nine. First one is t-shirt or top. Zero. we will enter top or t-shirt comma 
we have second class as trouser to pull over three let us check dress four coat five sandal six shirt sneaker then eight bag and at the end nine ankle boot print class underscore names execute so these are the 10 classes t-shirt trouser pullover dress coat sandal shirt sneaker bag and ankle boot we have stored this in a variable here that is class underscore names we have done this because it will be easier to recall let us revise what we have learnt till now in this tutorial First we have imported the dataset and we have imported this dataset from tensorflow.keras.datasets and this is our dataset fashion underscore minset. After that we have loaded the dataset x train, y train, x test and y test and we have loaded this dataset using this method dot load underscore data. There are 60,000 images in training set and there are 10,000 images in test set. After that we have checked shape of these data sets. For X train it is 60,028 by 28 and for X test 10,028 by 28 and for Y train and Y test it is 60,000 and 10,000. There are no images here. This is why we have only labels 60,000 and 10,000. And after checking the shape, we have checked the maximum and minimum values in X train. In X train, we have values from 0 to 255, that is 0 to 255 pixels, total 256 pixels, and range of the Y train is 0 to 9. That means here we have 10 classes, these 10 classes from 0 to 9. Now we have to explore the data. Close this. Data exploration. Type plt dot figure. After that plt dot I am show in parentheses we have to specify the image x underscore train we will see second image that is index location 1 now run this cell press command or control plus enter so this is our second image in x train and this is a t-shirt let us confirm this to confirm this, add one more cell. Let us check the labels y underscore train and we have to enter same index 1. Execute 0. Let us check for 0 top or t shirt. So this is a t shirt. To confirm it is a t shirt, we have seen the label. Labels are in y train. In X train we have data and in Y train we have labels. Now add one more line here. PLT 
डॉट कलर बार एग्जीक्यूट दिस सेल अगेन यू कैन सी हियर कलर बार फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू फिफ्टी फाइव लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड दिस कलर बार मीन्स वी हैव वैल्यूज फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू फिफ्टी फाइव दैट इज पिक्सल्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू फिफ्टी फाइव टोटल टू फिफ्टी सिक्स पिक्सल्स एंड साइज ऑफ दिस इमेज इज ट्वेंटी एट बाई ट्वेंटी एट यू कैन सी हियर जीरो टू ट्वेंटी एट एंड जीरो टू ट्वेंटी एट दिस इज द साइज ऑफ दिस इमेज ट्वेंटी एट बाई ट्वेंटी एट एंड दिस इज कलर बार फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू फिफ्टी फाइव now we have to normalize the data set add one more cell normalizing the data set we have to normalize the data set before training the machine learning model and we are doing this because after the normalization neural network learns faster to normalize x train टाइप एक्स अंडर स्कोअर ट्रेन इज इक्वल टू एक्स अंडर स्कोअर ट्रेन एंड दिस इज डिवाइडेड बाय टू फिफ्टी फाइव पॉइंट जीरो एंड सेम फॉर द एक्स टेस्ट एक्स अंडर स्कोअर टेस्ट इज इक्वल टू एक्स अंडर स्कोअर टेस्ट डिवाइडेड बाय टू फिफ्टी फाइव पॉइंट जीरो वी आर डिवाइडिंग बाय टू फिफ्टी फाइव बिकॉज there are total 256 pixels from 0 to 255 now run this cell great so we have successfully normalized our data set let us confirm that copy these three lines add one more cell paste and execute this cell you can see here values from 0 to 1 previously we have values from 0 to 255 after dividing by 255 we have values from only 0 to 1 that means we have successfully normalized our data set great after the normalization we have to add one more step here that is we have to flatten the data set flattening the data set flattening the data set means we have to convert 60000 2d arrays into 60000 1d arrays let us understand how to flatten the data set type x underscore train dot shape comma x underscore taste dot shape execute for x train we have 3d shape that is 60000 is for label and 28 by 28 and same for the x test 10000 for the labels and 28 by 28 so here we have to convert this two dimension array this one 28 by 28 into one dimension array that is in one dimension vector here also same so we are converting this two dimension array into a vector and this process is called as flattening of the data set we are doing this because artificial neural network takes the input in that way let us flatten the data set add one more cell type x train is equal to x train dot reshape in parenthesis we have to enter two arguments first one is the minus 1 and after that 28 cross 28 let us understand these two arguments our first argument is minus 1 that means we are selecting all the images in that data set in x train all 60000 images and after that we are converting these two dimensions 28 and 28 in single dimension that is 28 by 28 so these two dimensions will convert in a single dimension and we have to do same for the x test 
x taste is equal to x taste dot reshape minus 1 28 by 28 execute great now check the shape copy execute great now you can see here 60,000 comma 784 and 10,000 comma 784 previously it was 28 by 28 and now it is 784 so here we have successfully flattened the data set that means we have converted these two dimensions into one single dimension that is we have converted two dimension array into one dimension vector let us revise what we have learnt in this tutorial. Data preprocessing. First, we have imported the data set. We have imported this data set. Fashion Minset data set. After that, we have loaded the data set. After that, we have checked the shape, shape of the data set. Then we have understood what are the maximum and minimum values in X train and Y train. In X train we have values from 0 to 255 that means there are 256 pixels and in Y train there are 10 values that is 10 classes these 10 classes. After that we have explored the data. This is a single example 28 by 28 and these are the pixel values this color bar 0 to 255 after that we have normalized the data set you can see here pixel values from 0 to 1 and we have normalized data set because after normalization neural network learns faster after normalizing the data we have flattened the data here we have converted these two dimensions into one single dimension that is we have converted this two dimension array into a single vector. So this tutorial about the data preprocessing ends here. I will see you in the next one. Till then happy learning.